Hello everyone and welcome to another video by CompScience Simplified. This week's video is about a crucial yet confusing concept related to Node.js and that is the module dot exports. Let's dive into it. Whenever we write any code in Node.js, we generally use that code in other files by exporting the file as module. To facilitate this, Node.js creates a function wrapper around every code file that we write and it also provides us access to some global objects inside that file. One of those objects is the module object which contains an exports property. But in addition to that, there is also the exports global. And this is where things start to get a little confusing. Let us check out why. Let us assume that we are exporting several things from inside of a module. One of those is a function called say hi. Now you can require it inside other modules in this manner. If you want to export it using module.exports, you can do it like so and all works well. Also doing the same with exports variable produces exactly the same result. So no problems there. The problem lies in what we will try to do next. This time around we are trying to export just one function out of the module which we can call from inside of other modules like this. We assign module.exports to that function like so and it works like a charm. But when we try to do the same with exports like in this code snippet we get an error. Well that's a bummer right? What went wrong there? Let us understand. Here's the thing. Whenever we require any module from inside of any other, we get a reference to the exports property on the module object that node made available inside that module. So whatever module.exports is pointing to, which is an empty JavaScript object by default, is the only thing that any other module can access from this said module. With that context, we can see that when we set something like module.exports.a or module.exports.b, we are just adding keys to the module.exports object. And those keys should get exported when the module.exports object is shared with the other file. Similarly, if we assign the reference of a module.exports to a function like we saw earlier, that reference as well should get shared when node shares the module.exports with the requiring file. So far so good. Now, what the exports global variable is, is just a reference to the module.exports object that will eventually get exported outside. So if we add properties to exports, we are actually adding properties to the module.exports object which will get exported as expected. But when we wanted to export a function and assign the exports variable to that function, we just lost the reference to module.exports object and now our exports is pointing to a function. But that is not going to get exposed to the outside world. It is always the module.exports object which gets exposed. And that has no idea of the CHI function as of now. So to sum that all up, the module.exports reference is what will get exported out of the node module and exports is just an additional global provided to us for the ease of use. So we can go on adding properties to it that we want to expose but we should not change its reference to anything else as it defeats the main purpose altogether. So that was it for this week's video. Hope it cleared out some confusion. Do check out our other videos as well. We hope you'll like them. Also do subscribe to the channel if you found this info helpful. See you in the next one. Until then, happy learning.